Okay, so you gotta see this. A healthcare worker posted this to TikTok, and of course it's gone viral, and when you see it, you'll know why it's gone viral. She saw a patient that she says she swabbed earlier who tested positive for COVID. The patient was in line at Ross. The worker said she told the patient to stay home and recover, but looks like the patient would rather go shopping. People are commenting that this is why the pandemic is never going to end. Jeff. I mean, I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? It's just the older I get, the more curmudgeon I get about things. It's returning your shopping cart. How close are you to me at the airport? It's just, there's so many personal little issues using your turn signal that people just don't abide by. They don't care about society anymore. They don't care about thy neighbor, right? And this person just ignoring the fact that she had COVID and goes out to, by the way, one of my favorite stores, Ross, I'm not afraid <laughs> of it, TJ Maxx, hit me up with some of it. But it's like, listen, man, have some accountability, right. have some pride in your community. There is no more society. Society's rules have been broken. Yeah, uh, Lindsay, I, I want to hear your thoughts, but I think it keeps coming down to, and we saw this, Lindsay, you're a big uh, the political person, when Nancy Pelosi went to go get her hair done. Right. Everybody, and the, the, you know, the mayor of Denver famously went, I think, a couple Thanksgivings ago, and I'm talking about Democrats. Yeah. I don't care. Right. Everybody, yeah. everybody is like, Lindsay, you got rules, and Sam, you have rules, but not for me. I'm, it's our anniversary. Oh, my kid's graduating. And everybody wants the rules to be for everybody else except for them, and until we get past that mentality, Lindsay, I don't know we're going right it's kind of like a selfish thing i think at the first when i first saw the story um immediately i laughed because i'm like ross is not an essential place to be you know, there's <laughs> nothing in there like food or water that right. you need to go but then you know knowing overall like how covid can affect people and i'm so happy that we're in a space where covid now is different than covid two years ago like the story is not seeing tons of different people in the hospital and Great so point. i'm happy about that and i'm grateful about that but i also don't think it's time to get relaxed and lackadaisical about how you're protecting people because because you don't want to have that situation where you're the one passing it to people who it affects in any other way besides, you know, you don't, you, nobody Thank wants you. to have it in general. It's and true. So I think that, um, yeah, it's important, like Jeff was saying, to t take care of other people. Like, I don't have to stay inside the house. I didn't even have to get tested. But, like, because I'm asymptomatic doesn't mean I should just walk around and continue living my life. Like, my hair, Ross, things like that are not that important. And so it's just irresponsible and really, you know, just, like, it's kind of pathetic that people are still um, putting themselves before everyone else. Listen, we have to, even though, and you said it, Lindsay, you know, you don't want people to get complacent, but we have to say this. Even if there's just a handful, and there's more than a handful of people in hospitals, let's be real. Mm. And yes, if you're vaccinated like we all are, you are going to have similar symptoms to that of Lindsay. But or you might have really uh, difficult symptoms like, you know, Jeff, you've spoken very honestly about, you know, your wife, Jordan. So plus some people can't afford to, to quarantine for 10 days. So listen, you could protect someone's lives because there are people out there that are unvaccinated. There's people out there that can't get vaccinated. You don't know how it's going to affect them or if it's going to cost them their life. But then there's also people, even if they have very mild symptoms, they can't afford to stay home and not work for 10 days. So we really have to think about, to your point, Jeff, thy neighbor. I don't know many people that can afford to not work for 10 days. So you're exactly right. It's their life and their livelihood. Completely agree. I know. Well, once again, our viewers are echoing our sentiment. So Yay. I think we need to remember that a lot of people really do care. And I know that sometimes we focus on the ones that seem to be selfish and not care. But for the majority, just looking at a, at a, a Littman's test based on our, what our viewers are saying, most people do care and they, they would take their, their own personal accountability. And I think that is what we have to focus on and remember.